Honda manufactures some of the coolest and most fun motorcycles to ever grace the road, and through the 1980s, they were absolutely killing it. However, Honda doesn't have a perfect track record over the entire decade. In 1983, they completely missed the mark, releasing the Ascot. The bike came with a number of flaws that ruined the riding experience and made the Ascot a laughing stock. It's slow, small, and an all-around failure in Honda's history. No one wants to be associated with owning a used Honda Ascot, and here's why you shouldn't either. Ascot is a really slow bike. The V-Win engine came in at 491 cc and had a short stroke and a big bore. The 2.8-inch bore, paired with a 6.44-inch stroke meant that the Ascot's V-Win had none of the characteristics a V-Win should have. It completely lacked the torque that most V-Twins produce. What the Ascot did have was a system called shaft drive. This system, while having a fancy name, actually really hurt the performance of the bike. The one positive feature of the Ascot was that it revved to a nearly 10,000 RPM red line. However, with the shaft drive, the bike experienced major power loss as the RPMs climbed. Because of the power loss, the Ascot was an incredibly smooth ride and required nearly no maintenance, but it also didn't utilize the power of its V-Twin engine. The 1983 Ascot made around 50 horsepower, and with this shaft drive, it could drop into the 30s as the bike revved. The bike could hit a top speed of nearly 100 miles per hour, but don't expect it to get there quickly. That, plus the awful riding position of the bike, makes for a driving experience that riders of any size loathe. As far as motorcycle prices go, the Ascot was a cheap bike in the 1980s and is still a cheap bike today. When it was originally on sale, it retailed for $2,198. Even at that reasonable price, the American market could not find a place for the Ascot. It wasn't a tour, and it wasn't a thumper. It was just a strange mix of engineering that didn't have a place anywhere. Ascot was a complete and utter failure for Honda, and the bikes began to pile up at dealerships. First, they axed the prices to clear out inventory, but by 1985, the bike was already cancelled. 